Well, good morning and welcome to the most local of my local landmarks. Welcome to Corsham Court. Good morning. It's about half an hour till sunrise and I've um, come very locally today. I've come round to Corsham Court. It's literally three minutes drive from my house. Um, you can't get much more local, a local landmark than this. And I was hoping, the forecast said no low cloud, plenty of high cloud. There's not much high cloud around, but if I spin you round, you will see the beginnings of light that I'm hoping might lead to something. So let's see what we can do at Corsham Court. So I'm not sure what to shoot now that I'm here. Definitely going to be an interesting one, but I think I'm the wrong side of the lake. If you look over at the, the court itself, you can see the sun reflected on all the windows and being bathed in that nice warm morning light. Now, I think I need to get round the lake. So, let's head off round. See what we can manage. Well, the colours are starting to pop now. <laughs> now, I get caught like this before. You can't actually get through the gate with a pack on your back. So, off it comes. Such a faff. There's my old dead tree. And the colour's coming up beyond it. Nice colours in the sky. I'm hoping that we will get some reflections of these colours in the water. I was hoping that I might get the tree maybe something like the tree on the left hand third the water over to the right reflecting these lovely morning colours Okay, so I've set up the shot that I, uh, I wanted to take it's not quite what I'd hoped, but it's not too bad. I've got the, uh, the dead tree on the left hand uh, third line, basically, using a rule of thirds, <coughs> with the, the, the lake and the sunrise off to the right of that. Um, I've just taken a couple of test shots. And it looks okay, but it's 
such a such a vast dynamic range I mean I'm okay that's f8 and a hundredth of a second for the the sunrise the the highlights but to get any definition in any of the rest of it about a fortieth of a second and of course the highlights are then blown out so might need to do a little bit of uh, blending in Photoshop to bring that together. There's also a few too many contrails around this morning from my liking. We're not that far from Bristol Airport, at least not as far as planes fly, and we tend to be on the flight path, I think. Just going to spin this round a minute and take a nice wide shot of Corsham Court. See if that looks good with the colours. So the point of this morning really <coughs> is I was challenged by a friend. He said, what's the best photo you can take within five minutes of your house? And this fits my channel's idea quite nicely, this local landmarks. And you can't get much more local than being within five minutes of your house. So set the alarm this morning to get up and see what we could do with sunrise. Uh, my idea was this dead tree with the, the lake. <coughs> I wasn't sure whether I would catch it from the other side where we were at first, whether I could see the, the light catching the tree, or whether I wanted to have the tree silhouetted against the rising sun. So sort of from the other side, couldn't really see the, uh, the the light catching it the way I wanted, so quickly got round to this side of the lake, and it's not quite what I'd hoped for. I'd really hoped to be able to see more of the lake and catch some of those reflected colours, but the wind's got up. It's, uh, the lake's very ripply, so there's no real reflections on it at all. some nice pinks for a while but it's sort of fizzled out there's enough cloud to make it a little bit interesting so hopefully I got something we'll have to see when we get back to Lightroom still this is only sunrise and I could quite easily come back here for sunset just look at the lovely glow on this now these trees, Corsham Court building, the spire and the church, they're all catching this lovely sunlight, this lovely glow. The only problem is, I can now see my shadow, it would spoil any picture. Got to see if I can get something there. But what to shoot? Let's see if we can get a view of the church spire catching that lovely golden glow. The church is beautifully lit up and I'm just wondering whether with this tree behind me here whether I can hide my shadow in the shadow of the tree. And take something around here. Don't need a tall tripod for this one.
It's not too bad. I'm just not 100% sure. Kind of like the idea of hiding my shadow in the shadow of this tree. I think that worked quite well. Okay, so I've, I've come back round to this side of the lake again. Um, plenty of geese around. Um, just got the, the long lens on. See if I can get a couple of wildlife shots of the, these geese. And uh, actually, the way the uh, the way the light is catching my old dead tree from this side, it's actually quite nice. So I'm just going to take a long lens shot of that. about 200 to 250 roughly trying to get one of these geese but they're facing away from me just now. I'm hoping they'll turn around a little bit. What a lovely morning. But golden hour is over. It's an hour after sunrise now. I think it's time to head back. Yeah. Might just come back for sunset.